so we've actually got this new thing. Uh, now, Dave the Buck, per, uh, one of the Epic Games community coordinators, has actually made this thing on Reddit for Save the World. Now, this is actually huge news, because this is actually going more into the Save the World locker that's coming in Season 10, so... Let's read this. Hey Fortnite community, we're bringing the locker into Save the World. Starting with the launch of the new season, you'll be able to use your favourite dances, emoticons, sprays and toys as you battle the storm. We have a lot of information to share, so let's hop in. What's available at the start of the season? Loading screens, music and emotes. Emotes include every category of emote, dances, emoticons, sprays and toys. Now, will there be other cosmetics in Save the World? We are working hard to make sure every cosmetic type available for you to bring with you on your quest against the storm. We're focusing on wraps and pickaxing as, pickaxes as the next addition to the locker. When pickaxes arrive in Save the World, we will grant all of the unique pickaxes you earn through progress in Save the World as cosmetic, e as cosmetic items, which you'll be able to use in Battle Royale as well. Will there be other improvements to locker functionality and cosmetics? Yes, there will be many improvements still on the way. Now, before we continue, I just want to say, I totally called they were bringing Blue Glow into Battle Royale. I, I totally called that. Anyway, for example, we plan on adding the ability to emote from the end of the mission screen and call out this is in chat when using toys. While every emote works with any hero, there are some issues with clipping or positioning with certain hero and emote combinations. That's probably like, for example, Heavy Base Kyle doing the floss. That's going to be a very interesting combination there. Fixing those is an ongoing progress which will continue over the course of the season. How is the development team approaching adding cosmetics to save the world? During the process of bringing cosmetics to save the world, we have kept several principles in mind. First, we want all cosmetics to be completely optional just like they are in Battle Royale. Cosmetics are fun to use and while providing no in-game advantage. Second, we will not take anything away from anyone. If you have a cosmetic option now, you will keep it. Third, we want cosmetic items to be as universal as possible. We will allow you to use all of your cosmetics you own from Battle Royale, regardless of the type, as long as they can apply to Save the World. So that does not include uh, outfits. Your Save the World emotes and pickaxes will be usable in Battle Royale as well. Do I still own Ride the Pony, and what about the others who earned Ride the Pony in the Season 2 Battle Pass? This is the big thing right here. Yeah, if you have Ride the Pony already in either mode, you can now use it in all modes, and it's now a traversal emote. So if you have the Founders version of Save the World, you will be receiving Ride the Pony in Battle Royale. And for, for the players who earned Ride the Pony in the Season 2 Battle Pass, you will also receive a new traversal emote called Pony Up, to show that you earned the tier of the Battle Pass. If you don't already have Ride the Pony, you can get it by becoming a Save the World founder. So there you have it guys, if you, ha if you have the original Ride the Pony from the Season 2 Battle Pass, you will receive a new traversal emote called Pony Up. And of course, if you, have, if you don't have Ride the Pony, but you have Save the World Founders Edition, you're going to be receiving Ride the Pony in Battle Royale as well. Will there be an item shop in Save the World? This is the last thing. Yes, they plan to add the item shop to Save the World once all cosmetics are available. At the moment, we're focused on adding the ability to use the cosmetics you already own. For now, though, you'll have to buy cosmetics through the Battle Royale store until the Save the World item shop goes live. See you in-game. And there you have it, guys. Not only are you receiving a free emote if you are a Save the World founder, but you're going to be receiving a lot of free pickaxes in Battle Royale as well. And if you were in the Season 2 Battle Pass and you had Ride the Pony in Battle Royale already, you're going to receive a new emote called Pony Up. So hooray, that's going to be really, really cool. And what does this mean? I think it's finally time. I think Save the World is starting to become free, guys. I think it's going to happen soon. Free Save the World is coming soon, I can tell. I think they're not going to launch it though until they finish the story for Twine Peaks. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.